I wish I had some water. I really feel like I should be questioning this. Whatever, at least I don't have to move. That wasn't water. That wasn't water. Hey everyone, my name's Darren and I'm gonna be showing you some fun filmmaking tricks, tips, and how-tos with a sprinkle of my own flair. Filmmaking is fun, so let's film something. Let's quiet the set, get this puppy rolling, speed up our knowledge, and jump right into the action. First, we need our subjects. I have me, an empty glass, and some water. Now we need a camera to film our subjects. I'm using my iPhone along with an app called Filmic Pro so I have control over my footage. Plus a tabletop tripod to keep my camera steady. Next comes lights. I have a small LED Draycast light. Always light your subjects. Otherwise your subjects will look, well, poopy. That's a technical term. Last is sound. The camera on the mic is far away and not great. So I'm using a wireless mic to record my voice. Now it's filming time. Filming is easy peasy. First, film the empty glass. Second, film the water pouring into the glass from high up. Third, act out the whole scene with your award-winning skills. Warning, don't bump the camera from one shot to the next. If the clips don't match, you will have to start over. Don't mess with the glass until it's supposed to. If the glass moves between shots, it won't match and you have to start over. Remember, play back your footage and make sure there are no shadows or anything wrong. If all goes well, then you're done. Dun, 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 It's a wrap. Now comes editing. I'm using Final Cut Pro X, but this effect can be done in almost any editing software. First, you're gonna grab your clip and put it into the timeline. I filmed this as one continuous take, so I'm going to cut it into three clips. The empty glass, the water pouring, and then the whole scene acted out. We're going to place the empty glass clip on top of the acted out clip. To be able to see me and my awesome acting, we're going to use an effect called a draw mask. Think of it as scissors for editing. I'm going to cut around the glass, which will allow us to see me and the empty glass at the same time. I'm also going to add a feather to hide the harsh edges of the mask. I'm going to do that exact same step with the water pouring clip. Now I want the mask to move with the water. I'm going to highlight the clip which has the water pouring, and I'm going to go to my control points and hit the keyframe button only once at the beginning of the clip. This is going to allow me to animate the mask moving up. I'm going to go to the end of the clip and move the corners of my draw mask up with the water. Add in a slight feather, play back the clip, and you can see the mask moving up. Last thing I'm adding is a cross dissolve at the very end of the top two clips. This will help fade the top two clips into our main and hide the effect. And in five easy steps, we're done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hope to see you next time. And remember, keep filming.